Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about how to cycle a new tank. Before we dive into the process of how we're cycling, first we are going to look at what exactly we're cycling in our tank. The cycle that we are trying to establish is the nitrogen cycle. Let me show you in a very simplified way how that works. Waste from your fish in the tank contains ammonia, which is actually super toxic to the fish, and we have to find a way to remove this ammonia from the water. The beneficial bacteria in your tank will break down the ammonia and convert it into nitrite which is not as toxic as ammonia, but still not great for your fish. Then another type of beneficial bacteria will take your nitrite and turn it into nitrate, which is tolerable in small trace amounts. The nitrate from the water is removed through your regular water changes. So the reason for cycling your tank is to help your tank build up these beneficial bacteria so you can more effectively deal with fish waste. So there's two ways to cycle your tank. The first is with fish. Um, it's a more traditional method, but you are exposing your fish to toxins and you might end up with some dead fish. And the process that I'm using is fishless. So you use products such as ammonia and beneficial bacteria supplement um, to cycle your tank. It might take a little bit longer, but the upside is that you end up with no dead fish. I hope that makes sense, and if you would like more resources, you can check out the description below. So let's get started! Step 1. Prepare your products. So on the left here, I have a water conditioner and aquarium salt. I am using these two to condition the water in my tank. And on the right, I have an ammonium source and the beneficial bacteria supplement. For the ammonium source, I am using a ammonium chloride solution. It's really important that you get something pure and don't take anything from, for example, your kitchen cabinet. And this is the product that I'm using for my beneficial bacteria supplement. It contains live bacteria that you can pour straight into the tank to help your culture grow. And last, but certainly not least, is your water test kit. So this is really important because it helps you track all of your levels. It's important that you get something that tests your pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Now we set our aquarium heater to a nice and toasty temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are ready to go. Step 2. The dosing. So now I am going to add my ammonia and bacteria into my tank. I am following the instruction on the back of each bottle. Doo, 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 doo. So I'm adding my ammonia here and also my beneficial bacteria, and I'm adding both of them at the same time. Step three, tracking your water test results. The first thing you will need is somewhere to record your water tests. So this can be in a notebook or on your computer on a spreadsheet. Most water test kits come with really clear instructions on how to use them, so make sure you follow it closely. In my test kit, I have bottles to test for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and pH. Essentially what you do is you scoop water into your test tubes, then you drip the right amount from your test bottle into your test tube. Then you give it a good shake and wait for your test results. Depending on the products that you choose, your process might be a little bit different. So for mine specifically, the instructions tell me to add 2 parts per million of ammonia and measure the water levels every day until your ammonia and nitrite levels drop, and then add in more ammonia. So this process continues until one day you add ammonia and the next day you measure zero for your ammonia and nitrite. This is how you know you have grown enough beneficial bacteria in your tank. And at that point, your tank is cycled. And also during this process, every day, I am adding in beneficial bacteria 
to help the culture grow. After you add in your ammonia drops, your ammonia level should look a little something like this, where it starts at a dark green, which is a high concentration, and gradually move towards a yellow, which is a concentration of zero. As for your nitrite, it's normal to see zero in the beginning until your bacteria starts turning your ammonia into nitrite where you get the dark purple. Then you will get the light blue again when your beneficial bacteria has turned your nitrite into nitrate. And for your nitrate levels, you will start at yellow, which is zero, and gradually increase in concentration. And the only time your concentration of nitrate will decrease is when you do a water change. And the last thing that I'm testing is my pH level. So my water has a pH of 7.6, as indicated by the regular pH indicator and the high pH indicator. After three and a half weeks, my tank is finally cycled. You can see at the bottom of my notebook that I dosed on day 23, and on day 24, I tested the waters and the ammonia and nitrite are zero. I also plotted my results on a graph, so I edited my data a little bit so the graph would look smoother and represent the general trend of cycling. So you can see here the ammonia starts off high and then gradually decreases. And the spikes that you see here, 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 and here are when I redosed. For the nitrate, you start off at zero and you gradually increase and it would only decrease, as I said, when you do a water change. And the nitrite, which is red here, starts at zero, increases, and gradually decreases. And that's it! That is how I cycled my tank without any fish. The next step would be to introduce some live fish into my aquarium. Stay tuned! See you next time!